Hi Flasstube, it's Dan. I thought I'd do this quick haul video and I went to Gruber's Quilt Shop in Wake Park, Minnesota and uh, this is a fabulous quilt shop if you've never been there. Love this place. Well, went there and they had some fabric ends where if you buy whatever is remaining on the bolt you get some, uh, a discount and these are Kona Cottons. I use those a lot. I also got this Kona cotton, not an in a bolt, for my gnome quilt. And then I found this fabric for a project bag. I thought it was just amazing. It's not necessarily Christmas, but definitely winter, and I loved it. So I'm going to make a project bag out of that. And then I got these uh, for a Christmas gift needles and thimble for something. Then I found this flannel a layer cake. So these are 10 inch squares because I want to make this quilt for my husband and I think this will work perfectly for all of the squares here. And maybe some of the, the applique pieces here maybe. I'll have to see how big these pieces need to be. I I need still need to get this border print. I think it's actually a print on this now that I look at it. Um, that'll be flannel, so this will be a flannel quilt for my husband. Mind you, he didn't doesn't really use my the last one that I got for him or made for him, but I this yeah, this is for my husband. My mom and I, um, we went to this little place called Buttermilk Basin and fell into not necessarily a rabbit hole, but a crater, as you can see. So, let's start here. Every year I, may, I give my kids a Christmas ornament um, with the idea, you know, to decorate our tree, but then when they eventually have their own tree they can have ornaments on it and uh, my oldest two kids I've given them their ornaments I still give them an ornament every year but uh, my son who's in the Marine Corps obviously I still have his ornaments and my son who will be graduating from college next May I have his but when they have permanent homes they'll, they'll want their ornaments well Buttermilk Basin has ornaments and these ornaments these kits, they're all kits, so everything's in there. Maybe a button isn't in there. And needle and thread I have to provide, but I can do that. Um, these are about the price of a Hallmark ornament. Same difference. So, I thought I would show you these. These are available. You can call Buttermilk Base and they will ship it to you, uh, with the exception of one. They, or two, you'd actually have to go into the store, I believe. But these, you can, I'll show them to you. So, I have two ugly sweaters here. Ornaments. Again, the entire kit. Oh, it does have, come with the buttons, too. Cool. And the hanger. And... So I gotta work on those and then try to do this in an order. Then there's Santa's boot. And then I think you can predict who this one is gonna go to. My Marine. It has all the, everything. And then this one. And this one. Can you tell I have a lot of boys? And this one? Oh, I suppose I could tell you the names. I'm sorry. Uh, this one is Patriotic Eagle. And I told you Santa's boot. This one is Vintage Cream Holiday Ornament. This one is Vintage Station Wagon Ornament. This one's Vintage Truck Ornament, December. Yeah, 
those are the ones I've shown you. So then there is the winter sled ornament. And vintage truck ornament. No, that's not the right one. That one is not the right one. Oh, this is a vintage V-dub ornament. January. And then there's little snowman ornament. A lot of these have been series through the years that Stacy West has designed. Snowman tree ornament. March vintage truck ornament. Because this particular son was born in March. February hearts truck ornament. He was born in January. I forgot this one. This one is January and he was born in January. And this one is mini dots because his birthday is in October. And I thought, oh, this owl, he's so cute. And of course I saw the samples and the samples sell the ornaments. So yeah, my stitching time is now going to be by that. My husband and I, I try and get one for us every year. So this is the one I'm doing for us this year, Gnome for the Holidays. This one is a series and I'm not sure if you can buy the individual kits or if you have to sign up for the series of the month. This one you might be able to order the individual kits. Otherwise you have to physically walk in and get the individual kit. And again, I saw the sample. This one's number seven in the series. I'm not sure how many there will be or there are. Now this one definitely is a um, a monthly series. But they will send it to you. And August, he, this is the August one. He is so cute. So you can purchase this mat. And then you replace the gnome every month. And I will be getting the gnomes. She's, I didn't see October's there. I'm sure she, it's in product. It's like going to be put out. They had stuff that was, they were waiting to receive the supplies for. So it's possible it's, it's just waiting to be finally ready. But September's is adorable too. And I love July's. July's is an Uncle Sam. And so, yeah, I'm going to be adding to this. And I haven't decided if I want to get this mat. So you hang that on the wall, or you can lay it on a table like they show here, but you can hang it on the wall and then just change out the gnome every month. But this is the one I fell in love with. I just love the sunflower. And the butterfly. So yeah, I've got to do that. Well, then there's this one. Hello Fall. This one they had done an entire quilt, so I like this one. I think this one could stand alone as a wall hanging. And I haven't decided if that's how I'm going to do it or if I'll collect the other ones too. Um, this one I'm definitely doing as an individual wall hanging. Home sweet home. And again, it's the kit for this particular panel. And then this one is in, you could see the completed quilt, which I saw the model. It's gorgeous. But I really, really liked this block. And to be honest, I like the crow there. I like him. Um, I don't do Halloween, but this is more harvesty than Halloween. But this is the one that's in this one, and I thought that would make a cool wall hanging. And it's a good size, because you see here in the quilt where it's at. And I want to get more autumnal things on my wall. And then I have this kit. These, they have them mounted onto foam core. And then this frame is 16 by 20, so you swap them out. My mom picked up a kit. This is my happy place. It had a sewing machine on it. So, yeah, I, there are others of these I like, too. But that's kind of a fun idea that you can swap them out that way. And then this is just the pattern. And it's called Star Spangled Eagles. That is cotton applique. That's not wool, I believe. Oh, it could be wool. I haven't dug into the pattern. It looks like it's 
cottons actually. But yep. And then they had this one on the wall. This one is called Deliver Joy. And the truck and the dog are wool and the the gifts on top are wool. Everything else is cotton. And then I had been looking at this on her website. This is the 2022 quilt calendar. I'm going to show you the quilts, but there's no directions. That's a separate thing, so I'm not showing any directions. Just to give you an idea what's in here, this is January's quilt. If those weren't your colors, it would be very easy to swap them out. February. March. Love the colors on this one. April. I love this one. The, this, It's so... I don't know. Delicate. It really looks very delicate. And if you did this, like in blues and stuff, you can make it look like snowflakes. So it would be a good winter quilt too. This one is May. Golds and whites. Try and do this one hand in. June. August. Very bright and colorful. September. I love these colors. They're just amazing. And Buttermilk Basin does carry a lot of the fabrics designed by Stacy West. That's September. October. November. This could be a scrap buster. And December. Whoops, that's not December. Here's December. So it's another wool piece. Like the pick the campers and the thermos and the marshmallows. And then we have the directions here in the book. Well, I didn't show you July because that obviously is my birth month and it's my favorite one. And here it is. For the record... According to the pattern directions, there are approximately 2,000 half-square triangles in this piece. And, of course, this is the quilt I want to do. <laughs> Although I'm not sure I'd do the border. What I'm thinking is doing the center here. Still be a lot of half-square triangles, but not in blue and white. I was thinking it would look really good in red and white or black and white. But where the white is and the color is, swap. So on this particular quilt, where the white is would be blue and where the blue is would be white. I think that would be extremely dramatic. But I have to... Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. We've had a lot of rain here in Minnesota, so things are pollinating as much as they possibly can. Throwing my allergies out of whack. But uh, this is just beautiful. Just beautiful. So I was thinking of swapping dark for light and light for dark. But would it be blue and white, red and white, black and white? Yeah, I have to figure that part out. So that is the calendar, and it's available on their website. You can purchase it. And it does, it does include all the directions for all 12 of those projects in the quilt. Um, love these projects. So July, my favorite is by Blue and White Quilts. That's the company that designed that particular quilt. I'm going to have to check them out. But anyway, I thought I would do this video to show this because I am going to tear into the ornaments so I can get this part started. 
and I will be showing that progress in my next video. Uh, talk to you later, Floss Tube. Bye.